Okay, so this morning, federal officials, they are arriving in Hawaii to help find the thousands of people still missing. This says President Biden gets ready to visit the devastation. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. Ahead of Monday's visit to Hawaii, President Biden offered a message of support for the victims of last week's wildfires. I want the people of Hawaii to know your country's with you. The federal government and states across the mainland have scrambled to get resources to Maui. That's why we took immediate action surging hundreds of federal personnel, delivering thousands of meals, liters of water, cots and blankets. More than 600 federal responders are on Maui, including 250 search and rescue team members, many using trained dogs to help find those lost in the fast moving inferno. This is a really hard disaster and this is a really difficult search operation. Maryland, among several other states, sending teams to help find and identify victims in Lahaina. There always is an eagerness, right? A lot of these people are firefighters already, so they come to work every day prepared to respond to the unknown. FEMA has spent nearly $4 million to help survivors find shelter on Maui. It's a place where frustration is growing and questions remain about state and local efforts to evacuate people as the fire bore down. Where were you guys to? To try and get us out, evacuate us. No, we're mad. Maui's emergency management director has now resigned, citing health reasons after defending the decision not to sound the island's emergency sirens. Had we sounded the siren that night, we're afraid that people would have gone Malka. And if that was the case, then they would have gone into the fire. Several Hawaii lawmakers now calling for an independent investigation into the fire's cause and the decisions made leading up to this growing tragedy. The wildfires have now killed more than 100 people and destroyed thousands of buildings. Many have speculated that downed power lines from high winds were the cause. That's something the ATF team is looking at. In Washington, Chris Pallone, NBC News.